Hello everybody, this is me, Ultra Fud Fud, with another little um, tutorial on how to do certain things in Banlord 2. Today I would like to try and cover um, some attacking and defensive tips, as well as actually just showing you the basics of how the actual game combat actually works. Um, I don't expect this video to be a very long video, but um, still, it'll be good to do this so that you can understand what the game is all about and how it works with the actual fighting in the actual game. Now, in Mountain Blade 2, you've got many different ways of fighting. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second with the uh, tournaments in the actual game. Basically, you go to a capital city of the area and you'll be able to compete in tournaments for money, for goods, and all sorts of things. It's all good for you um, to progress through the game itself. Knowing that, you gain renown and other things. But different tournaments in different areas will have different weapons and different ways of fighting for the money and the prize. So let's just take a quick look at the way this one's going to pan out. So we're looking at, we, well I know you can't see because my big head's in the way, but we're actually fighting over a bronze round kettle over male helmet. Right, so that's um, it's not a bad little prize. It's not bad. Um, but that's, that's the way it is. So... We are going to be put into a group match this time. And sometimes it can be a group match between two teams, four teams, or just you versus someone else, like towards the end of the tournament. But sometimes it starts off like that. Depends what kind of tournament it is. I'm going to place a nice hefty bet on that. Because we're probably going to win. So let's see what we're going to be using. So you won't be told until you actually start the actual tournament. So we're going to be using a sword and shield. And as you can see on the screen, there's little arrows that point towards the where we're fighting. And that has obviously in the picture where we're actually defending as well. So like we're blocking left of the right mouse button, up of the right mouse button, and again. And then we fight back with left mouse. And depending on which way your mouse is actually pointing, is where you're actually going to be hitting. So I mean you could stab him with down, up, left, right. It doesn't matter. I mean, as long as the job gets done. And that's pretty much the basis of every kind of fight you're going to have in this game. Apart from when you start using both. Now, the thing is, in this game, especially in tournaments, you'll be using different weapons, mostly different matches. It depends on the, what the tournament is. So, again, we're fighting with swords and shields. And we're going to block, stab, and stab. Different weapons will have different speeds, and if you block in the wrong direction, you actually take a penalty on how much um, you actually defend. So you have to be very precise, but at the same time, it can be about luck. You have to start memorizing the movements of how they fight, so you can actually get it perfect and work on it. And then, over time, you will learn. I mean, I personally don't play actually with the um, arrows on anymore, because I, I get it. I understand what's going on. So we're going to bet again. We're going to go through this as much as we can. It looks like it's going to be a straight up melee tournament, which is fine. That's my favourite kind. You just like backstab him. And it's over. Oh, it's not over yet. I've got to beat up my actual team member. Fun. So now we're going to have a one on one. I know how this is going to go. Oh. 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 Hey, he's dead. So that's over. Of course, people don't die in this. It's a tournament, so you don't get shot. But you get your prize, you get your renown, and you get your earnings from the battle, which is fantastic. Well, I'm going to now go to the next tournament, as you'll see in a second. So here we are. We're at the different area now, completely in the Highlands. Um, and this is our base called Dunglanus. And these guys, because they're sort of Vikings, they're called Batanians, this group. But um, basically, these guys focus on heavier weapons such as two-handed axes and um, swords, massive swords like broad swords and claimers and things like that, which is great for me because I like playing that way anyway. So, But we're going to be using a bow, hey, so this is getting bow action. As you can see the way the rest of you works, the longer you hold the bow, it has to adjust, but I'm not a very good shot with this. But it's the way the game works, and essentially if you can get really good as a bow, most of the fights are over pretty fast. But I am no good with a bow. I would prefer to smack him in the legs. That's what I do. And as I've said plenty of times before, 
You play the game how you want to play it. You can be a marksman with a crossbow, or you can just be like Robin Hood and use a bow and arrow. Bow and arrows, in my opinion, are much quicker than you. But then crossbows go further. So, it comes down to how you want to play this. Uh, like I said, personally, I'd rather just run into people with an axe. And I'd rather just block. But remember, two handed weapons are great because they do so much more damage. But also, that also works in the other way. You can take a lot of damage yourself. I probably won't take much damage because I've got some really good armor. Okay, so now we're in a completely different part of the map. We are in a place called Boltkand. And this is essentially where the Kuzades rule. But obviously, I've taken the map for the purpose of this video. Now, um, usually, these guys specialize in using horses and uh, fighting with spears. Uh, so this will be quite interesting to see how this actually all pans out. Um, we're in the first bracket and it's a team of four versus four. And we are literally horse and bow, so this doesn't surprise me. And you can see you've got mounted archers and you've got horse archers. And my sub weapon is going to be a little sword. Because this is sort of like their native sword of weapons they would use. Obviously being an archer I should really be using my bow. You see, look, it's quite hard to use when you don't really know what you're doing with it. But it's not to say it's a really bad weapon, because bows in this game are essential. But um, you've got to be good at shooting. I'm just not very good at shooting. <laughs> and plus, trying to shoot an arch man is quite difficult. Yeah, you got to shot the horse. And that's a good way of getting people off their horses. Oh, I'm gonna shot my own friend. Because friendly fire is a thing if you're an archer, so you gotta be careful of that. Oh no, he's got him off his horse. Oh well, our little man killed him anyway. That's good. Well, he won anyway. So now we're gonna be on a horse. So this horse fighting is a little bit different to normal fighting. It's all about speed and direction. So if you've got good speed, and you're going to do like an upper hit. Usually damage is pretty good. But you're going to do side hits and up hits. You can't really come in from left and right. You can't do that with a spear. So it's up or down. And I've always found if you come in with a spear up. And you get enough speed. You can do some damage. You can do some mean damage. And sometimes you can knock them straight down like that. There are other ways of using a spear, which they don't tell you. Um, it's called couching. Now, I don't know if you're aware of what couching actually is. I'm not even trying to insult you. But uh, essentially, the old term of jousting um, is what couching is. And only certain spears in this game can do it. See, these are sort of short spears. They're not long spears. But we'll demonstrate what couching later. Okay, so here we are. We are going to show you what a couching lance actually looks like and is. Okay, so now let's see what a couch lance actually looks like and the signs of what a couch lance is. So as we can see, we've got an imperial lance, one two-handed, it's not bad. Western long, one-handed, two-handed. But I know for a fact this imperial lance is a couch lance. See, it says one-handed, two-handed, couch lance. And that's what we're looking for. Just a couch lance to see if we can get this going. So, now we have to go and find someone to test it on. Right, so, we have found a little group to mess around with. As you can see, there's over a hundred looters and seven bandits, that doesn't matter. But, I have a hundred and six looters due to the sheer base that in vanilla version of Bannerlord, you will never find a group like this. You might find a very rare group that has 60, but I've got a mod on that allows me to have up to a thousand bandits, and it's mental. Uh, absolutely mental. And you gain lots of experience and things from it. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what a couch lounge, a couch lounge actually does. So let's just organise the troops quickly, and we'll do this in another video. As you see, my arrows are on the screen again. So we're going to switch out by rolling the mouse up or down. I mean, obviously, if you don't have a roller, then you know, I'm sure there's another way of doing it. 
Let's go find trouble. Now remember, horses have to be a certain speed to be able to couch lance. And you can see in the bottom right corner of my screen, there's an indication with the lance up. And to go into couch lance mode, you push X and you're a couch lance. Now, couching is really good for damage. And if they're charging towards you, you're going to do even more damage. 245. Guarantee kill. Guarantee. If you can hit, it's a guarantee. Boom! And they didn't know it was coming. Had no idea. But there are problems with counter lancing and using a horse. If they're all shielded up, you're never going to hit them. They got a shield, and plus you're going to get stopped and probably clobbered to pieces for it. So I recommend learning how to use pole arms. I would also recommend learning how the counter lance really works. And also just in general learning how to fight pop battles. And um, if you like what you saw, please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll go on to the next video. Bye!